southwest at uh, 26 miles an hour. And a live look right now at the Rexburg Sky Cam. I pointed the camera back towards the Buttes. So you can see those thunderstorms rolling up here from the desert and the uh, Snake River Plain pushing to the east. The Rexburg Airport still showing 76 and some sun sunshine there at the airport at the weather station. But we have scattered thunderstorms all across the region, especially in southeastern Idaho. We've had some raucous weather already come through portions of Franklin County, getting over the mountains over into Bear Lake County, and then further east into Afton and Star Valley. A few thunderstorms also in central Idaho today towards Lemhi and Custer County. But in just the last hour or so, we've really started to see the thunderstorms pop around Idaho Falls, uh, North Bingham County, just outside of Blackfoot, moving into Shelley and Firth, and then uh, right through the heart of Idaho Falls, Yukon, Rigby, Manan, Louisville, this area here of northern Bonneville County. And these thunderstorms getting into Rigby, pushing further to the east, so they're heading towards Ryrie and Heisey right now, and soon will be in Swan Valley. This is all thanks to a stalled out area of low pressure, which is now sitting along the coastline, and that's going to continue to send in one wave after another this week off of this counterclockwise rotation. We have a frontal boundary that's been passing through the region today that's been bringing in those gusty winds, and the thunderstorm threats, of course, playing around with those winds with the strong downdrafts possible. Uh, for tomorrow, we're pretty much stuck with the same stuff as it comes along into the northwest. We get the wet weather flow out of the west and the southwest with, again, this area of low pressure continuing to churn right off the coastline of Oregon and Northern California. For tonight, spotty thunderstorms pretty much confined to Island Park, north of Rexburg, a little bit of southwestern Wyoming. We will even see some morning showers possible as we get about 6 a.m. tomorrow in far eastern Idaho and Wyoming. Would be surprised if you see a few raindrops in Idaho Falls tomorrow morning. Then we get to the afternoon with the daytime heating and a smattering of storms stretching from the mountains to the valleys and out towards Wyoming with tomorrow night about 9 o'clock some of this rain trying to turn over to snow in the mountains around Jackson and then we clear a little bit here for Wednesday morning before more showers and thunderstorms take hold across Idaho and Wyoming for Wednesday and into Thursday. And this pattern continues as I put the Viper cast into motion with a fair amount of wet weather arriving on Thursday. A few more lingering showers arriving on a Friday. Good news, it looks like we'll clear out just in time for your Saturday before wet weather gets back in here on Sunday and Monday. You'll see that effort reflected in your eight day forecast. Uh, big nuisance here, the thunderstorm threat along with the gusty wind. So we'll call it windy here for your Tuesday and Wednesday with your sustained wind speeds approaching 20 miles an hour. Highs around 70 for Preston tomorrow, 67 in McCammon with 63 in Soda Springs and a high of 59 in Pinedale, Wyoming. Up to Jackson with a high of 58. Same uh, for Driggs, about 58, 59 degrees. Not much of a change there. And then we'll be about 65 and 64 for Rexburg and St. Anthony with highs in the mid-60s for Chalice and Salmon. Mid-60s also in Mackey with a high of 65 in Idaho Falls, 68 in Pocatello and 70 for Burley. Check out your eight-day forecast. Again, we'll keep it unsettled for the rest of this week. A bit of a break on Saturday, so here's hoping that we can actually salvage part of the weekend before more thunderstorms roll right back in on Sunday with temperatures warming a little bit this weekend as well. As we go to Pocatello, tumbling temperatures back in for Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Scattered showers rolling in here for Friday and then a bit of a break on Saturday before more storm clouds arrive on Sunday. Blackfoot highs here at 63 for Wednesday, 60 on Thursday with highs again in the upper 50s to lower 60s to get us into the later half of this approaching work week with Rexburg having a high of 58 for Wednesday, 55 on Thursday and 59 on Friday. The sunny conditions on Saturday with thunderstorms trying to get in there for Sunday and Monday. Uh, salmon, I got you at highs here in the upper 50s for Wednesday, the lower 60s on Thursday. But even central Idaho will be dealing with the unsettled conditions of this week, a bit of a break over the weekend. And Jackson, a slight chance of a thunderstorm on Saturday with highs on uh, Wednesday and Thursday in the upper 40s to lower 50s. But one good thing comes from these thunderstorms, especially this time of year, the rainbows. So I decided to make a rainbow pick our Spirit of Idaho tonight from Tad Jenkins Auto Group. This picture comes was from Carmelita in Rexburg, and you can see a beautiful, almost complete rainbow there. And I uh, saw many of these pictures just the other week when we had those thunderstorms running across eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. So if you have a cool pic like uh, what Carmelita got there, send it into our Tad Jenkins Spirit of Idaho 